How you doing, sir? There he is. You must think you're pretty slick with that little stunt you pulled. Look, man, I'm just doing what it takes to get what I deserve. Oh, yeah, and if you alienate your coach and your GM and your teammates, then so be it, as long as MP gets oh, what he deserves. Oh, come on. You and I both know I deserve to that start. That doesn't mean this is how you go about doing it. You went to social? You that left me? No Are you kidding me? Worst players get cut for stuff like this. It's, it's, this is what I had to do, and I'm not worst players. Yeah, well, you got what you wanted. You're in the starting lineup. Wait, wait. Are you serious? Yeah, when that little tweet or talk or whatever you put out there went viral, ownership wanted to get involved. They Yo. called, they asked what on earth was going on. We sat around, we talked about it, and Coach was unable to make his case. Wait, wait, hold on. What you say? I said I think you deserve to play. I said I've always been a fan of yours on the court, but this is not how you go about getting what you want. Hey, look, 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 look. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers, but I appreciate that. You Thank you. You tell yourself that when you look in the mirror? You know I got to look out for myself. You know this. Well, you did just that. Hey, look, we good, Mr. Lesser? Back it up on the court, MP. I'm not kidding. I got you. Got you, sir. All right, uh, Frank, you up? All right. Well, you've been on a bit of a roller coaster recently. How does it feel now that you've pushed your way into that starting five? Feel great, Frank. Look, I'm ready to bring some energy to the court, and let's not forget about the biggest winners in all of this, the fans. Get to your seats early, y'all, because the MP show starts to tip off, baby. So can you share, are you at all worried that there'll be a backlash after the way you've gone about handling things? Honestly, I don't care, Frank. I plan on going out and taking care of the business on the court. And if somebody wants to grumble about me while I'm lighting up the scoreboard, that's their choice. Wouldn't be mine, but hey, it's a free country. Okay, thanks, MP. Yeah, don't mention it. teams with a lot of new players, Greg, this time of year can be a real challenge. Sure can. And just getting on the same... The 76ers. Milton kicks to Harris. Pass to Simmons. Five on the clock. On the way, Harris. Good on the three-point shot. Nice touch from downtown. Tobias Harris continues to look better and better from this area. From deep, Prince... That doesn't fall either. He's missed his first two shots tonight. Harris looking it over. Now here's Milton. Guarded by Prince. And that'll be two free throws. Prince. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the sixes. From the line. They can usually get the job done there. All free throws good for Milton. Just solid. Really, one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Barry's the long-range jumper. And they don't, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Running him off the pick from Prince. Over Milton. And that's Prince at time on the assist by Wheatley by into a team mentality. You'd be hard pressed to find someone more confident than Embiid. He's got plenty of confidence. He's a fun of judgment there. 105 left here in the first quarter. Here's Lee. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Pistons leading by four. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Prince, the pass to Grant. 
Kicks it out to Prince. Oh, Linick trying to break loose. And that's Prince. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter. Has checked in for Josh Jackson. A miss there on the triple. Philadelphia's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two or six from long range. Hits it from three-point range. Good awareness by Simmons. He's so good at reading the defense and finding a shooter and setting him up perfect. Jackson finds Stewart. And here's Prince outside. That's a six field goal today. And that makes him now six for 11. And let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. The Sixers have improved under Doc Rivers. They helped to define goals. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia, where they were able to handle the 76ers. Yeah, a really close game between these two in that last Matchup. It took a it's blocked. Diallo the pass to Prince. And another three for Detroit. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. How about the superb anticipation from Drummond? Sensing the opportunity to go for the alley oop and then converting in style. And so is the score. Clark, why don't more players, you think, perfect that shift? Well, you know what? Shots that are that I Green kicks to Simmons. The feed to Embiid. Shoots over Grant. Yep, it goes. And the Piston lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from MB. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. B passes to Prince. Sinks the three-pointer. Prince has got 25 points in the distance. Cunningham with it. The pass to Prince. And another three for Detroit. How about their last hot makes? How about all five from long range? Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting... 76ers trail by six. But Trey, the basket good off the assist from Simmons. Andre Drummond's checked in for Philadelphia. A season in being posted career highs as a score. And Greg, he did it with unbelievable efficiency. And how about hovering around that coveted 50 40? Simmons with it. He's against Cunningham. Harris passes to Simmons. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. That one. 157 left in the third. On the wing, Jackson. Dish now to Olenek. It's Prince on the wing. Buries it from three-point range. Prince has got 11 points in the quarter. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. He does not lack for confidence. He should. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. And here's Prince outside. And another three for Detroit. And it just seems like the Diallo. Seventy six is substitution. Time out. Six. It has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Couple that with just how well they've shot it from beyond. And they've made this thing look easy. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He is not happy with the turnovers. He said, we have got to get some shots. Tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really. Rollins got his fourth rebound in this one. Milton the pass to Harris. And the shot goes down. Goodbye. 
Here he has to continue to take. Prince wide open. Connects again from distance. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. On the wing, Harris. Drummond with a screen on Olenek. Here's Harris. Here's Drummond. And he goes right over Olenek and slams it. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Prince with a screen on Harris. Kicks it out to Prince. A three ball. Krill's the three-pointer. Prince has got 44. Now here's Milton. He's defended by Bay. Another shot. And he gets it back. Well, a little contact will not deter Drum. I mean, he gets physical right back and finishes strong. And it's Grant in the corner. Prince outside. And cool. He nails it. Prince has got 46 outside. He kicks to Cunningham. Back to Prince. Let's it go with a and again for three. And this parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. Oh, and that latest triple ties him. Hey, everybody. Uh, Candace. Great performance tonight, MP. You know, I'm wondering, how do you evaluate yourself statistically when it comes to offense? You know, in my line of work, stats are critically important, as you know, but players don't always use them the same way journalists do. So I'd like to get your take on that. You know, that's a great question, Candace. I say players are like regular people, you know? So we're all different. Some guys might look at every stat, be as nerdy as the nerdiest blog boy, and some people might not look at anything. It just all depends. It's, what do you call it? It's a spectrum. So where do you fit on that spectrum? I'm somewhere in between, I guess. <laughs> Efficiency is important. Definitely want to take high percentage shots and take away those shots from the other team. Sharing the ball is important, but how do you quantify sharing the ball? Sis don't tell the whole story, you know? Definitely not. So I guess me personally, I like to look at all of it because I'm I'm a curious guy, but there are some stats that you got to take with a grain of salt. Stuff like PER, you just got to take all that with a grain of salt, I guess, but some more than others. All right, let's see. Andrew. So it looks like you're really into music. Is that something you're trying to get more involved in? Absolutely, man. I was raised on hip-hop. My friends and I, we'd be messing around after school making beats, dropping rhymes, all types of stuff, man. How long have you been rapping? Like I said, since back in the day, my parents listened to Outkast, Biggie Records, freestyling over their beats. No, it's since middle school at least. Sounds like something you're really passionate about. Oh, will, yeah. will you try to pursue it? First? Absolutely. I'm taking advantage of as many opportunities as I can whenever I can. You know, you're not going to be hot forever. So I got to see what I can do in the here and now. Hey, everyone. <sighs> Let's start over here. Really impressive start, MP. Now, did you feel any extra pressure to perform after pushing your way into the starting lineup? Pressure to do what, Frank? P play like I can play? This is what I expected, man. This is why I do what I do, Frank. I knew this was going to happen. My success on the court is preordained, man, and it's just taking everyone else a minute to catch up. All right, well, look, obviously everything seems to have worked out, but any regrets about the way this was handled? Uh, none. You know, I got myself into the starting lineup. I showed why I belong in the starting lineup, Frank, and now some members of the organization, they don't want to hear it, but that just means I got to make some more noise. MP is not going to be ignored. <sighs> okay, let's, let's go with John next. Tonight was your first start, and it seems like you didn't miss a beat. <laughs> Is it fair to say that you feel like you belong at this level? You know, I say that's more than fair, John. Uh, the difference between the G League and the NBA is not what people think. 
players are better up here, but down there, people are more hungry. So you can't rely on your teammates to look out for you. It'll take me a minute to get used to playing the team game again, for sure. Sounds like you have to adjust how you play now that you've made the NBA. Oh, yeah, because it's one thing to break through, and it's another to actually last. If you want to break through, you got to score a lot of points and do something else that makes you stand out to the scouts, you know? But once you're here, you got to perform on a nightly basis on both ends of the court. Now, you know more than most that people love to come out of the woodwork. Did you get any messages tonight after the game? You know what's crazy, John? My favorite rapper just hit me up and it was just like, good game. So I, I guess this is the welcome to the NBA moment, huh? Hey, maybe he'll put you in one of his raps. Welcome to the NBA, my friend. Haha, <laughs> thank you, John. All right, I'm good. Thank you, guys.